On February 13, 2023, 57-year-old Lloyd Preston called 911. Hello, I just shot okay. someone. In a you just shot ride. someone? Who did you shoot? I don't know. What is your name? Jared Hughes. Jared Hughes. Okay. Why did you shoot him? I uh, came at me aggressively in my parking lot at Concount. Okay. We have units in route. You said he approached you aggressively? Yes. Are you the owner of Concount? Yes. This is the video footage of the incident that took place. The victim, Garrett Hughes, can be seen standing in between two cars. Lloyd comes out from the left-hand side of the screen, and he sees Garrett on the other side of the parking lot. Lloyd walks up to confront Garrett, and they talk for a few seconds. Lloyd is then seen rushing Garrett right before the video footage ends. Garrett would not survive his wounds, and after the police viewed the surveillance footage, Lloyd was arrested and brought in for interrogation. At this point, Lloyd doesn't know Garrett is dead. All right, first day, um, before we start anything, because formality, I'm going to read you your rights, okay? Um, you get your water? I, I got okay. my water. I'm going to read you your rights and uh, go through this. I'll have you sign it just saying that I read them to you. And the Miranda rights? Yeah, and I'll, then, I'll just sign it. And says. then if you want to, I'll have to read them. It's okay. a formality, and then you want to give us your story, I'm here to, to listen. All right. Um, all right. Uh, pretty much. Tell me what happened. And start if you can. Just start the. I guess the night that you, you were at Contown that night. Correct. Okay. So go ahead and let me know. Tell me. Tell me what you got. I was there for um, the Super Bowl. Okay. Uh, I was with um, my niece and her boyfriend. Okay. They left. I am now single, so I hung out for a little bit longer um, to see if maybe a potential suitor might show up. Okay. Nothing happened. I was ready to go home. Um, I noticed there was a lot of activity going to and from the back door. Okay. As we have discussed in the past. Yes. Correct? Yes. So I went out back to just see what was going on. As you know, I am armed. Nature of my business, my property. All right. I went out back and there was not one, it, this was not a drug dealer, I don't think, just a guy. And he had buddies with him and there were, there were cars, but he was in between two cars there were, car, and there, were, there were people on either side, and I guess they were all together. I okay. don't know. They hadn't come from inside the bar. I don't know where they came from. And he's in the parking lot okay. and on the building. And I said, man, can't you just go in the, in, I'll be honest, can't you just go in the fucking bar and piss in the toilet? And we exchanged words. And as it progressed, he became more agitated and approached me. And I said, look, I own this. Stop. He continued to approach. I said, I'm armed. It appeared as though he was reaching for something. Lloyd claims that Garrett rushed him. However, the video footage clearly shows that Lloyd walked up to Garrett, confronted, and then attacked him. The argument could be made that he saw Garrett pull out what he believed to be a gun, so he rushed him to attempt to disarm him. Unfortunately for Lloyd, he has already told police that Garrett attacked him. First shot went off this way. The second shot went off up in the air. To the best of my recollection, he was already on top of me. It would happen that fast. Okay. There's no doubt I fired a weapon. Okay. Because they wouldn't let me wash my hands. Right. It, yeah, we'll do that. It, 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 okay. it, it happened. All right. I immediately... Once he was down, did not continue to assault him, set my firearm on the hood of a car, okay. awaiting the arrival of the police. I did not render aid because other people showed up to render aid. Okay. And I know he's got a lot of witnesses that are going to say a lot of different things. That's what happened from my perspective. Okay. But I can tell you, he was on me so fast 
that my second shot went in the air. Okay. It was that fast. Okay. On my property, I stood my ground. I feared for my life. Period. Okay. On. They ask Lloyd to draw a map of the parking lot and describe what happened. The goal here is to show that the video footage of the incident does not match what Lloyd claims happened. So there was a, like a car, there were, well, you know the way the back parking lot is yeah, yeah. like this, right? Okay. No, not over here, not, not, these are the dumpsters. <laughs> right. Right. Here's that Jeep that's been sitting there forever. Yes. It was approximately here. There was a truck parked here. After it happened, it happened about here. Okay. I laid my fire on there. Okay. All right. When did you when did you make contact with him? Um, as I as I came out, uh -huh. I was walking this direction. It started here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And where did, did it happen? Did the altercation happen like on the in the parking lot itself? Or? In the parking lot itself. Okay. So not in the bar. No, 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 not in the bar. I'm saying like, well. Were you in between the parking lot? In between cars, the cars, or was that? Here, right, in, between, in, between the, the in between the cars. Okay. Right here. All right. All of that, as a matter of fact, it'll, okay. there's cameras everywhere. Right? Okay. So, that all of that is a matter of fact. Okay. And then, as he approached me, I identified, I own all of this. Yeah. It's all my property. Okay. I identified myself as the owner of the property. I identified myself as being armed. He still okay. approached and appeared as though he was going for something. Okay. That's... What did he tell you when you told him about what, like, what... It, 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 we were going back, like, who the fuck are you? We were just going back and forth on this thing. And it just... I mean, that fast. Okay. Let's take one final look at that footage. Lloyd walks up to Garrett takes a step back, and then rushes him. It, 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 was, it was not a long, drawn-out process. It really wasn't. Because if it had been, then his buddies that were here would have... I mean, okay. had they all come in together and had been a fist fight, it, things might have ended differently. But that dude was agitated already. I mean, you can test me for drugs or whatever. I don't know. I... Uh, I swear I hope he's okay. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I hit him in the abdomen. I don't think I hit him with the second shot because the second shot went in the air. It was that fast. So when when, it ha when the altercation happened, um, that you all came together, was there any contact with you on him? Did you grab him? Did he grab you? Did Was there any uh, hand contact? Not to my recollection. Okay. It, 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 it happens so fast, but when somebody's coming at you that fast, I got you. It doesn't. Got you. It doesn't matter. All right. Now, if we're going to get into very minute particulars, that's what I'm going to ask for a lawyer. Okay. Because I'm, I'm telling you the overall scope of what happened, and the reason I asked for you is you understand the dynamics of that establishment. Yes, I do. And you, so you know. I'm armed all the time. Nature of my business and what goes on back there. And really, all I was doing was walking through here to see what was going on to give you okay. a call if something was happening. All right. That's it. When you have been in contact a lot. No, we have. And you always tell me people have been doing stuff back there. We've got a good relationship. And, 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 in all honesty, I don't think these were, I don't think they were dealing with anything. I think they were just. Drunk guys. Okay. But they're, they're local, I think. All right. Um, and I can tell you, one of them's probably going to try to kill me right. based on. Did they say anything? Uh, the looks. And okay. finally, your um, officer that did not detain me. Right. Really, he didn't handcuff me, but we went and sat him on the next steps. Because originally I was looking at the scene and the guy was. Looking at me like, yeah, I'm gonna get even with you. And the officer saw it too, and he said, just come sit over here and right. work this direction. One of the many problems with this case is that Lloyd had multiple opportunities to leave the parking lot and call the police. This case happened in Florida, which does have a stand-your-ground law. According to a statement by the state's attorney office, 
They believed that this was a senseless killing, and that Lloyd was annoyed and had a warped interpretation of the situation. They believe that the videotaped evidence does not reflect a stand-your-ground defense in this case. All right. So, just so I get it right, you walked out of here, you were walking, just, dude, you were walking, you walked out of Countdown, and you walk in there when you made, when, when you engaged yep. in, in the, you know, he the and he zipped his pants up, and we had words, and he came at me. Okay. And, I mean, there's no reason for me to go at a guy that's just other than verbally, just, you know, really, go to the fucking bar. They got three bathrooms. I got you. No. Um, and I, so I don't know beyond that. I, I can. I didn't know him. He had no reason to have malice for me that I'm aware. Of. Right. I mean, a lot of people know me. You know that. Yeah. No. I did not recognize him as someone that I'd run into before. Okay. All right. Um, and as far as words, you don't, can't remember what he told you no, or anything like that? No, it, it okay. was all... I hate to say it, but, you know, in the heat of battle, in the heat of the moment, words are exchanged. Yes. Can I be verbally abusive? Yes. I can. But did, did I walk up and strike him to cause him to come at me? No. All right. Okay. No, no. I mean, look at my size. I mean, no. I and, I, and my recollection is the guy was a little bit taller than I am. All right. Did he hit you? Did he strike you? No, he came at me in a threatening manner. Okay. And it appeared as though he was grabbing, reaching for something. Okay. But he was coming at me. All right. And did you did you see what he was like? No, what he was no, reaching no, at no. or anything like that? I did not. Okay. What do you, what right. do you mean by the threatening manner? Like what could he threaten? No, he's coming at me with words and yell, "Yeah, we're gonna." have issues because I I mean where where he ended up the best of my recollection was outside here okay behind the cars right out, okay. outside now, now, you, you tell me if I'm in, you tell me if I'm incorrect but uh, yeah so he obviously came toward me okay. did did you find him here Next to the building? No. You found him in the middle of the parking lot, okay. which is where I was, which means he came to me. Mm -hmm. When you came out, where were his friends? The detective makes a good point because Garrett was alone in the parking lot. It wasn't until the incident took place that a couple spectators would approach Lloyd and Garrett. There was a friend, I, okay. I don't know if they were his friends, right. but the pe there were other people. There were some over here mm -hmm. and some over here, but there were cars here and here. That's my place. recollection. So he was like, he was isolated. So he was by himself, like standing. Right. Okay. Yeah, like they're not sitting around watching the pit. Right, 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 right. Was there anybody okay. back here by the back door? Anybody hanging out back there? I walked out the I don't believe there was at the time. There was immediately afterwards. Okay. We were all kind of people everywhere. All right. Afterwards. At what point did you draw on him? Was it here? When he got, when I fired, he was about this close. Because I fired on him. It appeared as though he was reaching for something, and he's coming at me. And by okay. the time he got that close, I fired, and he's on top of me. Okay. Did he fall on you? He came. Yeah. Oh, did he? Like, like he, 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 my second shot went in the air. Okay. So, were you? He was you on, fell on. You fell on the ground. Do you, you remember if you fell on the ground and fell back? Yeah. I. I, I he came at me. Yeah, because I mean, I, I, yeah, I, I got up, but he wasn't on top of me okay. by the time it all ended. He was on the ground. Okay. So I'm just trying to. Do you remember it. where he was reaching? Like, was he reaching? It looked like in his, on his side. Okay. Okay. Which is where I carry a firearm. Okay. I mean, there, there was no reason for this. This was. 
determine if you were holding the gun with one hand or with two hands? Me? Mm -hmm. Were you able to actually what watch I'm... out properly? It appears that Lloyd knows this question is important and he doesn't want to give the wrong answer. He has already shown police that he used the gun by pointing it at Garrett with one hand. I don't know. I will tell you what the best of my recollection is. I'm sure it happened pretty fast. Two, one. Okay. I mean, it was that fast. And just to get, so you you walking towards him? Yeah. I'm not walking toward him. He's walking toward me. Okay. Do you want to show? Like, I'm trying to get. Like, did you fall? You said you got you got you got up yeah, off the ground. He, yeah, because when he came, my second shot went in the air. Okay. It was that fast. Okay. All right. And I'm going to maintain stand your ground all day long. I mean, it's my parking lot. He's coming at me. I, I mean, I, it, what I hope comes out of this, I understand your job. And I understand friends don't cross that line for your job. I think this is a case for a grand jury. Oh, that's... That's what we're here. Do you know my job? Yeah. Um, I think this is a case for an injury to investigate all of the facts. This is something that we, we get all the facts. We get all the, we get everything. The good, the bad, and the ugly. We put everything together. And you know, and I before we I do anything. I don't want to go to jail tonight, but you know I'm not going anywhere. So, you take it to a grand yeah. jury. That, well, that's up to the state. Preston, that's we we put everything together. We take it to the state, then they make that decision. But you know, um, you, you and, and yeah. this you know this wasn't a, a revenge thing. This wasn't one of the dealers back there. It wasn't like I was hunting somebody. I got you. I got you. Yeah, in, in no way, shape, or form. I got you. Um, After they do a few tests on him, Lloyd wants to know what happens next. So am I spending the night at uh, Rick Ramsey's? I don't know. We're gonna. This, this is what we're doing, and I'll be perfectly honest with you. Um, we're gonna put everything together. Your story, their story. Um, then it's, we'll, it's we'll one take of me it. and probably five or six of them. And that and that's fine. We'll. It goes to the state. We tell them what what we're gonna do, and they'll make the decision of how they want to proceed. If they're gonna take it to grand jury. If they're gonna. You know, Either way, that we just we just and you know how we operate. You know me for a long time. I'm not gonna bullshit you. And you if, know I'm not um, if if and I know that you you got plenty of roots here. So based on what the state assess, we'll give them both sides. We'll give them and they will make a decision. Um, and you'll be you'll know. So right now we're just putting everything together. You coming forward, you're talking to us, we'll give them that, and then they'll, they'll make the decision of how they want yeah, to. I'm not hiding what happened. So, no, I understand that. You've always been up front with me with no problem. So, we just put everything together, you know, and then we, we, we give it to them, and it'll go from there. And so, so, here's what I would ask if, if you want to hold me for whatever reason, give me three or four days. Here's why. I'm a one-man shop. I've got to pay estimated taxes. I'm the only one that can do it. Okay. I've got to be in my office. I don't care if you come and sit with me to make sure I don't go anywhere. Right. But I, I've got to be able to do that. Well, and that's not just for I can't make that decision. And, and I'm going to tell you, I can't make that decision. That's not on me to make. But... Um, it's something that we'll have to talk to the state about, okay? And like I said, I've always been up front with you. There's nothing to hide that, you know, you know, I have to do my job as far as no matter what it is, but I'll have to, we've got to run everything through the state and through. The detectives don't want to tell Lloyd that Garrett is dead because then he may ask for a lawyer and stop answering questions. Once Lloyd confirms he wants a lawyer, 
They will then tell him the bad news. Can I ask you how the fellow's doing? Right now he's uh, critical. Fuck. She's going to get a camera. We'll, we'll take some pictures of you. Um, and then, let me see, I got that done. Would you consent to getting some buckle swabs from you for um, DNA? No. Okay. Did you wash hands? Did you? I did not. They didn't give you anything to wipe up with or anything? You'd, like if you had blood on you I or anything? Like when I went to pee, they wouldn't let me wash my hands, no. I immediately set my firearm on the hood mm -hmm. and stopped. One of the things we've got to do is a blood draw. Um, we're going to transport you to the hospital. They're going to do a blood draw. We've got a warrant for a blood draw. Okay. Um, when you get there, we're going to give the medication so the doctor can give you the prescribed medication. Mm -hmm. Okay, because we're not doctors and we don't want to give but you know what I'm taking. Huh? You yes. know what I'm taking. You want to give me a list of them? The detective is about to let Lloyd know that Garrett has passed away, but before he does, he has one last question. They know Lloyd was the aggressor, but did Garrett make any threatening statements? When the guy came, you say the guy came towards you, do you remember anything or any type of threatening things that he told you or anything that he made actions? I know you said he grabbed yeah, something. He, he was coming to aggressively get me. Mm -hmm. He was getting taller than I was. All right. Did he show anything? Like, did you remember anything? Hand maneuvers, hand things. Did you no. remember anything? It, it was just that fast. No. Okay. All right. Um, all right. So I think they covered it all. We can take you out there, get that done. And we got to do what we got to do. Um, also, but I've got to ask again to speak to my attorney. Okay, sir. so that's fine. Then I won't ask you anything else if you want to talk to your attorney. Well, I'm referred to okay. you. Okay, um, that's fine. If that's what, that, and that's fine. That's totally your right to do it. Um, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get you to the hospital. And once you get done with what you got to do, we'll get you. You can give them a call. So we'll get we'll get it done. Right now, we're not going to ask you anything else. We do have a warrant. We do have a warrant for the blood, which is signed right. by a judge. So that'll be done. Just so you know, we're going to take you I'm always up front with you. What do you do? The hospital had contacted us a little bit ago. I just talked to the detective that was out there, and the, the, the kid did pass away. So I just want to let you know that. All right. Um, unfortunate thing, but I. I gotta tell you, I've known you too long, and there's no need to, to hold anything back. But they'll uh, they'll take you now. The gentleman that went downstairs will take you out there. Be bearing on what the state. They're the ones that know the stand your ground law better than any of us. We'll present it to them and see what they say. Okay, we got their story, your story. You were honest with us with what you said, um, and we just let them go. It's very the, the stand your ground. The state we've had these cases before where they're the ones that know that they okay. they know that law better than us. Okay. Lloyd is currently being held without bond. What are your thoughts on this case? Did Lloyd act in self defense or should he be charged with murder?